time. And we're live. Hi. We are live. Hello, Jimmy. How are you? Hello, Melinda. From Germany to Germany. Yes, from the north <laughs> to the south. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have a Russian and a South African in Germany with love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. So we're multicultural. <laughs> yes, isn't that just so awesome? Yeah, okay, see we've got people slowly coming in. We have yeah, in my nice. thirty seconds. We have nine, ten. Yeah, it takes a little while for the for the comments yeah. to come up before we can post them on the screen. So I'm really excited. We're waiting for everyone. You. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so nice. People are coming in nice and quickly. Don't forget um, to like and share the video for a pizza box. I don't know if any of you saw yesterday, there was so many pizza boxes given out. Oh, my oh, yes. word. Um, oh, yes. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hi, Elena. And we have Elena saying hello, everyone. And... Uh, Joaquin giving us hearts. We have Anne from <laughs> from the UK. Oh, wow. We have Hello, Karen Robert from the USA. We have Sam from my design team, who you know Hi, well. Sam. <laughs> um, we have Sharon Fortune from Cape Town, my hometown, my hometown. <laughs> um, Agnieszka. Hello, Agnieszka. Hi, Agnieszka. Nice to see you here. And Good Canada. Morning. And Claire from Malta. And oh, wow. Lisa Rodriguez. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Laurie, good morning. Good oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed the marathon. It was amazing. I didn't get to watch it all because, well, I had to cook and do other things, but it was an amazing day. Um, oh, yes, it was. Another person from Canada, Blanche. Hello, hello. Marion. Blanche. Netherlands, my neighbor. Hi, Marion. <laughs> Bonjour from USA. Yay. Oh, we are so multicultural Talk again. This is so nice. From Spain. Oporto. Oh, wow. Sevilla. Yes. Wow. Yesterday was Amazing. epic. It was really, really epic. And Sky Blue from Jakarta. Um, Hi. <laughs> we have Frankfurt. Frankfurt. It's even Hi. more than me. <laughs> <laughs> One German more. <laughs> well, you can speak German because, of course, you've been here since you were a child. So um, yes, I speak fluent in German and Russian. Yes. Hello from Greece. Hello. Um, what is it? Cal Calimera. Have, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dora, 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 Dora is from Greece. Lisa, you can't believe I know what you have in store for today, and it is. Brilliant. I can't wait for you to make it for you. Um, we have Sweden in the house. And here we are again. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. I'm not surprised to you. Cindy was up at ridiculous o'clock. Because I know when we started, it was about 3, 2 a.m. Because I was 3 a.m. USA time. It depends on where she is in the USA. They do have different time zones. But I don't think yes. Cindy sleeps. I'm convinced she doesn't sleep. No, I she's want never secret. sleeping, Belinda. She's never I'm, sleeping. <laughs> I really want that secret because I'm I'm no good with no sleep. We have Poland, UK, and we have Australia. I think we have now covered all four corners of the globe. Wow. Um, wow we wow. even have Estonia. Estonia. Hi. Dobry and day. Chile. So <laughs> Cindy's laughing Hi, at her. <laughs> But I really I want your secret, Cindy, because oh I can't I can't do it with no sleep. Me too. I always need once a week a good deep sleep. Otherwise I turn into a fairy tale to a I don't know who monster. <laughs> the evil witch of the West. That's me. <laughs> yes. Hi from Canada. I wow, 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 wow. So many people from all over the world. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us. 1 a.m. and ended at 3 p.m. at one nap, but didn't want to miss <laughs> anything. I know. It was, everybody <gasps> made such amazing projects. And oh, Mexico, yes. always here. Yes, Blanche is always here. Um, Ireland. Yes. Hello from Ireland. Ireland. Hello. And Jean from Scotland. Hello, hello. 
Um, we really are. Oh, Japan, Japan. Hello. Oh, Japan. Hello. Yes, we had that amazing live in yes. Japanese. Um, I think it was I like this Alice project. It was so nice to see you. Really it was wonderful. really, really amazing. Um, oh, there is one German comment I see. Uh, ich habe gestern von 9 Uhr morgens bis oh, 20 wow. Uhr abends gesehen. Yes, so she, Marianne watched oh, wow. from 9 in the morning till um, 8 p.m. in the evening. Yeah. Um, das war eine lange Schicht, ja. <laughs> and Sharon watched oh, the first two from her meeting. We won't say that out loud. <laughs> Um, another Japan. Hello, hello. Hi. Peru, Colombia, Hungary. Wow. Uh, hello, Nicole, Nicole. Nicoletta, Nicoletta. Nicoletta, Nicole. Uh, my dyslexia, I'm even mixing your names up. Um, <laughs> Italy is in the house. Okay, right. I am now going to... Um, give you the countdown so that you can turn your camera around yes yes thank um, you so much what i'm going to do is i'm going to put me on full screen so that gives mm -hmm. you a little bit extra time and you can see over there we are live on air um i actually put that on my um desk on my family's um on the dining room table so that when i'm trying to record or going live um people can my family know not to um, make a noise or anything. Wow, Julie, that was really quick. I can actually see that you <laughs> are ready. Look at that yes, desk. I am. Hi, I'm going to give hi, you hi. a solo lounge. So here we go. I think everyone is already curious what we have prepared together with Belinda. And I wanted actually to surprise Belinda because I never did the live with uh, Lady V collection. But I also have a crush on Sleeping Beauty collection. So I <laughs> decided to make a story how Lady V and Sleeping Beauty met. And here it is. And that's so amazing because you are on Devota's design team. So Sleeping Beauty yes. is one of Devota's designs. And so you combining the two, that is so awesome. I love it. I yes, absolutely so love it. This is nice. Yeah. I thought that they're, those two ladies, they're so nice and so lovely. And as Lady V is traveling a lot, I thought, why uh, do they need, uh, do they not meet actually? So uh, Lady V kind of prepared the portal door for both ladies so they can meet to have a cup of coffee or a tea however or some cookies <laughs> and cakes. i need a portal door in my real life yeah so this is actually very easy to make and we're going to do this with you guys together and i will show you what we're going to need for this so as a base i just take a cardboard uh it's 12 by 12 inches or 30 to 30 centimeters so it matches just perfectly with the huge paper pad oh that's such uh, a good idea yes and actually me i used the zingle sheets from the 12 by 12 collection but you can of course use the whole paper pad right so we're going to work with these papers uh, so here for example i made kind of patchwork in the background from both of collections but today I decided to put the Lady V pattern in the background, this one. Ah. And yes, and for the portal door uh, for Lady V, we're going to use this sheet of paper. Ah, that's from the loose stock, yes. Exactly. So this is the new collection lifestyle Lady V. Everything is from the new collection. And for the door uh, for our princess, I'm going to use this uh, maxi mold. So I have already prepared the door and you guys can use for this case, the soft clay. So I yes. did it in the evening yesterday. So it's already dry and we can work with this. The soft clay is amazingly light. Um, yes. So I even use the soft clay in molds when I want to do them on cards because it's not so heavy. It's really good. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I like them also. And uh, for gluing the papers, I'm going to use the mixed media glue. For me, it works just perfectly and it dries yes. really quick. But also we need to hurry <laughs> because otherwise the paper will not stick uh, good enough. It dries really quickly, that mixed media glue. Yes, and for the background, I will use this Allegro paints. This one is uh, Blue Avio, Kyle uh, for 
two. Then I will use the Terra shade with uh, the number is called as a KIL 40. And okay. also Verde, uh, Verde Prato is KAL, sorry. Yes. And I also will use just a drop of this wonderful aqua color. I love them. This one is in uh, Brunito Iridicidenta, so it's bronze actually. Ah, uh, yes. The number is um, KAQ035. So I hope the camera will match the focus now. Oh, Ooh. it doesn't matter. I'm sure um, people who heard, right. heard, heard, I'm not, I'm not going to um, type them in because, well, Yes, and my latest crush is the 3D mask, so I will working um, with this as well. And here for I use two of the shades, so they're available in two shades, in light blue, uh, uh, light green, and uh, dark green. So I will uh, put yes. together. So I think this product is not that popular, uh, but I guys must say you, I'm completely in love with them because they are popping up like, um, yeah, like. Uh, uh, mushroom, like a three D, like a three D effect. Yes. Yes, I love it so much to play around. And then we're going to do some texture. And herefore, I will use the stencils from the Sleeping Beauty collection and from the new Alchemy. Ah, oh, yes. So, I haven't got. I only got that one on Thursday, so um, I'm still oh, dying yeah. to use that one. Yeah, so I decided to use uh, the Alchemy collection for Lady V's part because for me it's uh, a kind of steampunky as well. So this is kind of a letter from Lady V to uh, uh, Sleeping Beauty. And Sleeping oh, that's Beauty so cute. That's so like clever. This. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice idea. So, and of course, we're going to uh, play around with decoupage paper or rice paper and uh, make this... Um, how you call that in English, Belinda? Um, the circles. Um, Gauges. Barometer? It's a gauge. It's a steam oh, gauge. Yes. Pressure yes, gauge. Exactly. Yeah. And herefore, I will use this wonderful rice paper also from the new Lady V collection, Lifestyle. So the number for this is DFSA4648. So as you can see, I have already used two of them. <laughs> so I love them, yeah. And today I'm going to work with the rest. And also to making this 3D effect, I just uh, take uh, these uh, wooden uh, round shapes. Oh, uh, coasters. That's clever. Yes, because they are hard, so you can play around. And we're going to glue down the cardboard on it to make it even more popping up. And just uh, playing with the details, I will use the chipboard from Sleeping Beauty Collection. I will just make, uh, take um, just a speech, you know, so you can use this hmm. one or die cuts, or you can cut it out from the paper pad itself. Yes, so there's so you. much to cut out. And Sky yes. Blue is uh, reminding us to like and share the video because you could yes, win a pit But this month, um, you actually need to nominate somebody to win the pizza box. So you need to nominate each other in the chats um, to be able to win the pizza box. Um, so yes, that is that is what we're doing. Yes, so, and we are actually almost finished. So the last product from Stamperia is the Serantica in gold. I will just highlight the details in the end and you will need some decoration you have. So uh, for the Sleeping Beauty part, I use the flowers and this uh, and these uh, leaves Orange. and they are in very yeah shady pink uh, yes ancient pink i would say the color very so close now yes. we can get started i think we have everything that we have also this fabric i love this ah it's like gauze yes, yes exactly nice soft I texture everywhere. in the background yes so now i think we're ready to start so i will take my um uh cardboard and first of all, we can glue down the back side of, um, of our uh, well panel. I simply need to cut out this part, which is not matching. Yeah, it's the information strip. Exactly. So you'll notice that what I've done with this collection is I have used um, 
different sides of the paper. They're not all the same as they are in the albums um, for the loose stock. So people have different options. Yes, yeah. And I like the paper. For me, it was really a hard decision which paper I will take because everything was so wonderful for, to me. <laughs> and I was really uh, struggling which one to pick for my project because they are all really, really gorgeous. And I need to hurry up because uh, they were not too much in the stock. Yes. They are running really well. And now and I need to apply the mixed media glue like really quick. And I do it uh, in a uh, in few se sections. So I glue down the uh, upper uh, part. That's clever because otherwise the paper is porous and it soaks it in. Exactly. Very so I, I divide it in parts. So I start from the beginning, uh, from the top. And work from uh, from up to down. Yes, so we have Jill Humphreys in the chat, and she is already all organized and prepared for her live, which I think she said is Monday. Yes, her live yes. is on Monday, and her sample is made and prepped done. Oh, you're so organized, Jill. Brilliant. Well done, you. This is nice. And also congratulations, because you won the pizza box yesterday. <laughs> I didn't even keep up with who won the pizza boxes. And Olga oh, is in the house. My team is in the house. Olga's also teaching today. So she's taking a quick break and coming in to say hello. Uh, Caroline saying hello to both of us. Uh, hello, Selena everyone, saying guys. good morning. Um, <laughs> Sam saying I can't break for toffee. <laughs> Um, so the paper so hello, hello. I'm just watching the chat because now, of course, everybody is um, suggesting everybody else for the pizza box. It's teamwork, people suggest each other. It's awesome because you know, you guys are like little mini families in the Facebook and the YouTube side. Um, so, um, Jill's asking, Did I really win one yesterday? Um, I'm going to have to. Oh, okay. So I didn't watch all of them. So I can't confirm that, Jill. We will have to check. I'm sure Stampa Wheel will put a list up somewhere so people can double check. It usually comes out on Monday in the, um, in the newsletter. Um, so <laughs> Cindy's saying, so much to do and so little time as always. But we can do it. Yes, we can do it. <laughs> no, Carla, you can't suggest yourself. You can't suggest Carla Martins for a pizza box. You have to suggest someone else. And Giovanni even mentioned that in, in my life. It was so cool to mention before. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Uh, I would be uh, pleased to have like every life a pizza box. <laughs> yes. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, Yes. No, um, I think it's sharing is caring, so we care for each other, so we share. Uh, okay, so um, I don't know, Jill, if there has been a list published. I doubt it because we finished at 10 p.m. last night or 11 p.m. our time. It was late because the last one went live at, at 10 o'clock. So I doubt anybody from Stamperia was compass mentors enough to put a list together um after that marathon so yes the only one i do know because i happen to be watching that live is crafty i am one a box i do know that one um uh and there was cora cora also one uh, cora one. yeah yes cora I who's too, usually yeah. in the chat as well um <laughs> no Jean, you can't ask for yourself you have to put somebody else for it because it's christmas um it's December, it's the time, so I think that Stamperia is thinking behind it, is to nominate someone else um, so that they can win on, you know, sort of because you put them forward. So, um, so yes, oh, Blanche won. Yes, Blanche won. Um, it's nice to know. Um Good morning, Patricia. Good morning. Good morning. 
So, meanwhile, I have cut it out the Lady V because she's mm -hmm. going to appear in the front of our composition in the 3D effect. And we don't want to waste this wonderful uh, paper. Therefore, I will place it here. So, I will use this part for the back scene, like here. And so, we don't have any waste. That's so clever. So because uh, we, we will divide, divide this uh, cardboard into spaces anyway, so we Perfect, can simply yes. cut this uh, um, part out and use this wonderful for our scene. That is so clever. Waste not, want not. And Lisa's asking, how many times can you vote? As many times as you like. you got to be in it to win it. So it's just fun. A little bit of fun. Hello, Frau Lina. Frau Lina is also in Germany. Hello. She's up north from me. Oh, nice. One more German in the house. Belinda, is still snowing in Berlin? No, it stopped. It's mostly melted. It's just oh, a little no. bit left on the trees. I don't think oh, we're going to get a white Christmas because I see it's warming up next week. I did check. But there's still it's two always weeks. like that. So, yeah, last year we got snow, really good snow, on the 3rd of January. Um, oh, yes, it was, was after Christmas year, time. So, yeah, it was after Christmas. <laughs> it's always the same. It's always raining. Um, so, I'm going to glue it down also with the mixed media glue, the way we did it before with the background paper. Being quick, oh no, I start better from the uh, uh, starting from the bottom, yes. So, and also, if you uh, cut out the paper, it doesn't need to be perfect because we are working um, in further steps with the different medias to cover the edges. Therefore, I do not measure anything. And maybe you already know that I'm not a friend of uh, proper measurements. <laughs> oh, dear, then we can't be friends because I measure everything. No, I'm not that good in <laughs> <I'm> measurements. <decent. laughs> I'm always struggling when I do measure. Is it the right size? Is it really the right size? I always use my eye measurement. <laughs> So perfect. Well, yeah, some people are really good at that. Other people are not. So um, I'm I'm a control freak. So I like my ruler. My ruler and me, we're best friends. I have a, a ruler too, but somehow I sometimes really struggle. So when I do scrapbooking and need to measure um, uh, the pages, it's, for me, it's like, oh, doing a math exam. <laughs> Sam is like, measurement? What's that? Yes, yeah, Sam, exactly. What's that? <laughs> So we're going to do the same with our Sleeping Beauty part. So first of all, I will cut out the wonderful lady and the paper, which is, um, 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 ah, I forgot the word, rest over, left over, sorry, we will use for the background. Ah, okay, perfect. So it's the same way of preparing the background. So, it's such a fun to cut them out sometimes. You cut out so quickly. You're really speedy. Oh, really? <laughs> but I do not hurry, actually. Well, when I'm crafting for myself, I must say that I love a very calm atmosphere. I turn on the music, the calm one. I love uh, uh, deep house music and the spacey music. And then I just go with the flow, you know, and I enjoy it so much. This is a real meditation for myself. Oh, no. No, it's, it's the more fussy cutting I do, the more frustrated I get. And Olga is impressed with you fussy cutting with some giant scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so I will cut it a little bit. Uh, out because we don't need that huge part of it. Oh my god, my heart is always bleeding when I need to cut this. I paper. know. So, Mari, 
Mari's asking, what's with the nominations? So in order to win a pizza box in December, Stamperia have put forward that you need to nominate somebody. So it's the person you nominate that will win the pizza box. So that's what's going on in the chat everywhere, both on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, and Roberta is saying, I can't type, but I'm watching. Okay, no problem, Wonderful. Roberta. Um, Okay, I'm confused. What are you confused about? Um, apparently, it was for the whole of December. I asked about that because um, this apparently started last week. I I wasn't aware of that. Um, so um, that is that is what I have heard. Um, so why not? It's it's the month for giving. Um, So what I'm going to do is next, I will cutting off the edges that I don't need. Okay, Judy, can you just show your original project again on the screen, please? Yes, because I've got Patricia who wants to see what you're up to. Yes, of course. So this is the story of how Lady V and Sleeping Beauty met. Lady V opened um, a portal door. Can you move Here. it forward slightly towards your tripod? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Yes. So this is, uh, yeah, it's huge. So I cannot um, <laughs> yes, unfortunately I take it on the whole screen. <laughs> so we have uh, a part with Sleeping Beauty here and a part with Lady V here. Ooh! Oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was too, uh, too uh, energized. Sorry for that. <laughs> Not a problem. Hang on. Are you okay? There we go. So, yeah, so this is, oh, now you can see it on the full screen. Look, it was good. Wait, that was yeah. a good accident. Now it's fixed even better. So, <laughs> now you can see it. <laughs> and now I'm working on the background and it's almost finished. We only need to um, cut out the, the longer Get edges. the name strips off the top. Perfect. Exactly. And you see, no extra measurement. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I just can't do it. No, but I think that everyone should uh, craft in the way that he or she feels comfortable with because um, it must make a joy to craft. Yes, yes. So you must if you feel comfortable with work in your own style. Do it. So the background is now finished. As, I, as you can see, even the colors, they're matching so perfectly together. So they actually fit. And uh, this is what I like when I discovered this idea. And now we're going to lay out our ladies just to see. So Lady V is like bigger than the Sleeping Beauty, but it's okay. We have a different scenes and that's fine. But before we're going to work with the ladies, uh, I will prepare uh, the background even more with the stencils. So we will use the alchemy stencil for the Lady V part and um, the Sleeping Beauty part, uh, Sleeping Beauty stencil for her part. So let's uh, start with Lady V first. And we will highlight the stencil with glamour paste in gold. Just lovely one. I love glamour paste. It's just the most delicious stuff. Oh yes, me too. I love them so so much. I got and them in any so shape. Yeah, you see, it's all already empty. So Patricia, <laughs> the order will come very soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's already empty. Yeah. So Patricia, she is um, uh, sending me always the supplies I need. So she's living in Holland. It's so close to Germany. Yes, they're right on our border. She's really close to yes. our border. So. It goes quick. So Duncan said she's still a little yeah, tired from yesterday's party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and I decided to take the script for this project because my idea was uh, before Lady V and Sleeping Beauty met, they used to write letters to each other. Therefore, well, you know I that Lady Vagabond puts all her letters in in the bottle to send yeah. so i mean letters yes, are a thing exactly. of exactly and this is how the friendship started 
<laughs> yes, Patricia came in just in time to hear that you will place a new order. Hello. Yay. <laughs> so you know, actually. <laughs> well, I am really obsessed with Sampuria products. Uh, I have not enough. Uh, so I buy and buy and buy. Well, so I'm really glad that I have no husband, as you. so no one can uh, uh, shout at me, you know. <laughs> Why are you ordering? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to go and find you on Instagram to be able to put um, to put your Instagram up for everybody. Um, uh, Yuli, Yuli Art. There we go. Exactly. So um, I'm just going to put the link for everybody to be able to find you because you are one of the most prolific people on the face of this planet Dorota is so lucky to have you on her team thank you so much you well, post you nearly pleasure. every single day um <laughs> uh <laughs> Olga I don't know how they would so Olga's saying that I should pitch to Stamperia for the season of giving to give boxes to people who left the most comments during the year on live streams I don't know how they would do that because there's so many live streams a week to be able to keep tabs of that would be nearly yeah. impossible. Um, so if you click on that link that I have put there, you'll be able to follow Yuli on Instagram um, where she posts nearly every single day the most gorgeous projects. Thank um, you. So, um, yes, she posts. Um, is it every day, Yuli? I'm sure. I'm almost sure yes, it is. almost, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Well, uh, I craft every evening because for me it's like meditation. <laughs> so uh, it calms me down and some people go outside and have a run or with the bicycle. I do craft. <laughs> yes, Blanche is saying she is a machine. That's you. <laughs> she posts every day. <laughs> Thank you, guys. But I love to. And I do not feel forced to do it. I just love what I do. And for me, it's a pleasure to create something new. And thank you so much for your appreciation. Um, ah, yes. So Sky Blue Hippie is in Jakarta. And she said, sadly, she hasn't been able to get any Stamperia products since 2020 here. Oh, Need no. to, she needs to order from overseas. Yeah. So. It is difficult. Stamperia is trying to spread their tentacles all over the world. Um, it's a slow process sometimes. And Valeria is saying Yuli projects are beautiful. Oh, thank you, Valeria. Thank you. So, Belinda, if you like, you can mute myself for a while because I need to dry my glamour paste. Ah, uh, and you have? Do you have a noisy heat gun? Okay. Yes, a little bit noisy. I will try. Just give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go. Okay. Yeah, no, it's noisy. I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> I'm gonna mute it myself. Mute you. There we go. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Um. Yes, as long as Sky Blue can order from overseas, it should be okay. It just takes a long time. I know it's frustrating. It must be terribly frustrating to see the products come out and then you've got to wait for it to get to, I'm assuming, Australia is your closest continent and then to post to you. So, um, and we have another one saying your art is beautiful. Um, so... Yeah, the nice thing about the Glamour Paste is that it does dry so very, very quickly. And if you're not careful, it will dry solid on your stencils and very, very hard to get off. Um, so always remember to pop your stencils into water. Um, so, okay, you're back. Yes, look at this, guys. I love this Glamour Paste. Oh, the texture is just gorgeous. This is so lovely. I wish to receive such a letter one day too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's illegible. <laughs> so if anyone has this script, like in her or his own hand, please write me a letter. I will be so happy to receive it. 
Oh, that's so nice. Jean is saying, I can understand Yuli's way of working. It's relaxing for me. It helps my stress yes. levels. The cafe exactly. and all the classes I see help me in many ways too. Yes, Jean. Uh, we started as Stamperia. They started um, these online things um, as a way of, um, yeah, just helping people who were stuck at home due to COVID. And it's become um, so popular that we now, every day, including Saturday, um, and um, Patricia is always also, so this is Patricia Dureska is saying, similar to Yuli, I'm mm -hmm. involved in gluing and doing therapy. Yes, it is. Yes, like it is definitely. So, and maybe just uh, one more tip from me, but I think uh, everyone knows it. Um, I'm working with this, uh, uh, with this piece of fabric because I love it very much. But as I want to have it more steampunky for the Lady V part, I will prepare it with the aqua color in bronze. Ah. Oh. Yes. So I will just gently spray around, not too much, just a few drops, and let it dry for a while. So you see it looks like very messy and steampunky, like it came from the old England. <laughs> So, and I will let it dry. And meanwhile, we are going to prepare our circles, our engines, engines, isn't it? Engines? Yes. Uh, gauges. Yes. Gauges, sorry. <laughs> I need to practice more English. <laughs> it's fine. No, you can speak Russian and German. Oh, yeah, but I think no one will understand it. It's better to stay with English. <laughs> <laughs> English is the international language, yes, but, but so is art. It. Um, think, yeah, sorry. No, what I mean, somebody was saying yesterday, you know, we have so many different languages in, in Stamperia. We have, of course, we do have Julia Ost from Russia. We have yeah. Italian, we have Spanish, we have Portuguese. Um, so we have quite a few mixes of languages. I mean, we even had Japanese last week. Mm. Um, but you don't always need to understand the person because, you know, there's that saying, um, a picture says a thousand words. Um, when you're watching somebody crafting, you can see what they're doing and what they're using. You don't necessarily have to understand what they're saying. Um, so you can still learn even while watching. Yeah, that's true. Ah, I think art has no language. language. Oh, Agnieszka, really? You understand it? But why do you yes. always speak English? <laughs> and there is Polish because she lives in England. Ah, um, yes. So it's interesting with all the languages and people. Yes, it is definitely. Um, it works for all of us in many ways. It really, really does. Um, oh, thanks, Sky Blue. Um, yeah, it's been a very special time. Um, I feel like I've got to know some of you on the chat. Um, it would be really nice when we can eventually travel to actually meet up. I think Stamperia should have like hubs and we can try and get all our supporters <laughs> to come and meet everybody and have a big Stamperia yeah. party. Um, ah, yes, Agnieszka, um, Olga saying, um, Agnieszka, like Olga, learned Russian in school. Ah, yeah. I also Except, of course, know yes, Olga, we know Polish. you. Olga's mostly swear words. Yes, isn't that funny? That's usually what you get taught first. People teach you all the bad words first. Um, <laughs> This is always like this. That's true. Oh, I've got a German comment here. It's quite long. Oh, yeah. This it's discussion yeah. on by euch zu sound und hoffentlich macht meine Krankheit weiter selber etwas zu machen. Bis dahin danke für eure tolle Videos in live. So Marion saying um, that can you translate that properly before yes, of I course. make a mix? I understand enough to be really confused. Uh, can you please uh, just uh, pop it up again so I can... Okay, read there we it. go. Thank you. So it's nice to be here with you and watching you. And after my sickness, I hope that I will be able to uh, do something too. But uh, so far, thank you for your lives and your videos. Thank uh, you. I did Marie understand Marie, that. Liebe und gute Besserung. Yeah. Um, 
Scrapbooking is a medicine. Yes, any crafting is a medicine. Um, sometimes even just tidying my um, scrap room, or, you know, just moving my my things around makes me feel better too. Yes, me too. I love to um, do this. Yeah. Yes, it is nice when somebody can translate um, to hear the tips and tricks. That is true. But, um, yep, you can still learn by watching. You might not get all the fine details, but um, uh, no problem. Hello, Claire. You've been sorting bedrooms. Oh, good for hey. you. You've been doing adulting. Um, I haven't done any adulting today in the way of <laughs> cleaning or anything. I've been teaching this morning. And um, now I'm hosting the lovely Julie, who is busy making gauges out of rice paper on coasters. Exactly. Um, crafty I am is in the house saying hello. Hello, Crafty I am. Hi, hi. Um, yeah, uh, Lisa's saying that she learned Italian and French as a child because um, my mother's mom my grandmother is from italy and my dad's mom is french she taught me french you are very lucky oh, nice. my mom is from mozambique and she understands portuguese and um portuguese latin um uh, uh italian and spanish have a very similar base so my mom sits and watches all our lives and understands everything and i feel very jealous i often have to oh, ask yeah. her to translate I also had French and Spanish in my during my school time, and I was quite good in that as long as I was in the school. But after school, I didn't practice these languages at all. Now I forget. So maybe when I read something, I do understand quite a lot, but I'm not able to answer anymore. Uh, yes, to answer yeah. anymore. <laughs> and this is such a pity, you know. So I'm going to um, uh, dry uh, the uh, rice papers very quick and i'll be back soon again okay i will mute you okay so cindy's saying after her marathon yesterday my treat to myself is crafting for the weekend yes so even though um i craft with lady vagabond as my day job i still craft for myself um if you're a crafter you're always a crafter hello not a problem that you're late um yuli is making uh, the most amazing canvas using Lady Vagabond and uh, Sleeping Beauty. And they will meet each other through a portal door, which I think is such a cool idea. Um, I really think it's very clever. And at the moment, you can see that she is drying the gauges from the rice paper that she glued onto some wooden coasters to give them some dimension. Um, Oh, now we have some French, which I cannot read. I think it's French. Um, from Deborah. Could be... Um, oh, me and languages. I'm dyslexic in English. Can you imagine me now trying to read other languages? That's why I'm so slow to read the German, because I've got to sound everything out. Um, uh, you are taking linguistics courses. Okay, I think I can unmute you again. There we go. So I'm back again. Now I'm going to uh, finish. Uh, oh, God, I forgot the word again. I'm sorry, Belinda. Gauges. The gauges. gauges. Not a problem. <laughs> so I just want to uh, highlight the edges and make it more steampunky. And here I will use this wonderful blue shade this is uh this allegro in blue oh, avion in aviation blue it's gorgeous yes i love this shade and this paint is everywhere so i will put a drop on my palette taking my spongy and go randomly through the edges like this ah oh, good idea sort of distressing it exactly but you can also use if you want to have it more steampunky have a vintage paste on for example or instead of taking the blue shade taking the dark brown shade terra, yes. for example would also go work uh, go well with this or maybe Absolutely. orange so craft heaven saying amazing how the colors from both sets are near enough matching and that is something that is so nice about stamperia is that the colors do work together so well oh yeah um, you know, they have 
almost like a set of colors that they use um, across the board. So you're almost guaranteed to find something that will work with something else in one of the other um, one of the other paper lines. Um, oh wow! Oh my and, god! I love it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. I really do. It is quite. Um, it makes crafting with the Stamperia stuff so easy. Um, so, oh, and now we're going finally to the very interesting part. We're going to bring all the pieces together to our gorgeous background. So I see we have uh, so many people here. So I just wanted to show quickly the finished project. So this is how it looks like. Okay, yes, because somebody was asking in the chat where your moss is going to go, and I can see it yes. there on the top right-hand corner. Exactly. I decided um, to choose it for the Sleeping Beauty part, yeah. Yep, yeah. so and Selena this is has... what we're going to do now. Yep, yeah. so we're going to see how that works now. Yes, yeah, so you can uh, actually choose if you would like to work with the dark or with the light green. I uh, decided myself to mix both of them because they uh, you can set the shades and I love to play with shades and this goes just perfectly and I always start with the light one and you need to be uh, quickly so um, be ready to have your uh, hot gun here and it only works with the hot gun not um, a heat gun it doesn't work with the hair dryer it's not hot so, enough yes it's not hot enough so you need this one and I will randomly apply it to draw, uh, to draw this uh, soft border between two worlds, yeah? Right. So very soft. And also here you can do a dip of uh, uh, dark green, a dip of light green paste. So, so you're like combining this. the two together? Yes. While it's wet? Exactly. So I will do just the center. And put here the light one. And now you will see, I will um, take the cardboard upper to the camera so you can see how funny they pop up when you start heating it's them. It's like popcorn. Exactly. It's such a fun. I think you should let your children do it. My son likes it very much. It's like circus for him. <laughs> <laughs> so I will show you. This is how it looks like when it's wet. But as long as you start heating, this happens. It starts popping up really quick, uh, really quick actually. So, mine. Yeah, now it's going on here. You see the bubbles? Yes. So I normally tell people, don't hold your heat gun in one place because it will bubble. Well, we want the bubbles, so hold it in one place. So this breaks all the rules. Now you see the difference already. Woo, there's one huge bubble. <laughs> this is such a fun to play with it. So you see the difference? It's almost like what we, uh, ah, like a puff paint. It puffs up with the heat. But it needs to be done. So um, my understanding is you need to heat it while it's still wet in order to get this puffy effect. Um, yes, it's very interesting technique, um, Nicoletta. It's... Um, weird stuff to use but it gives a lovely soft feeling to a project and also it dries lighter than when it's wet um so um does it warp the paper craft heaven she's got it glued onto cardboard um so you know when you heat anything um, paper wise be it cardboard or paper it warps because you are pulling the moisture out of one side so a trick is to then heat it from the other side and it should um, and it should even out your your paper if it warps and yes Agnieszka is saying you need to heat it up while it's still wet to give the real moss effect 
Um, so, it looks it looks like a creeper or something growing up between the two worlds because what um, Yuli's done today is she's used the Lady Vagabond and the Sleeping Beauty and um, you can see the door on the top left hand side of her screen um, she's going to be painting that and that is going to be part of the portal um, where the two meet um, so yes craft heaven it is amazing stuff um, and I love mixed medias in the house. Hi, Denise. Hello. So look, um, now our mask is popping up. Yes, it gives the most amazing texture. And the thicker you put it on, I think the more it puffs up. Exactly. So here um, I didn't hit that much because we have the door on this uh, area. So you can leave it the way it is. But here we have this wonderful, you can see, yeah, now you see this three-dimensional effect. Yeah. I love it so much. And after all, we'll highlight it even more with the wax. But for now, uh, I will uh, do the layouting. So we will have the door here. And of Can course, you push it up slightly? Oh, sorry. Up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Oh, perfect. So here we have the door for Lady uh, for Sleeping Beauty. Sorry. And now I need to cut out quickly the door for the lady v so i use this sheet of paper yeah that's from the loose stock exactly oh my heart is bleeding again because i need to cut something out here <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is such a horrible uh moment for me to cut it off because and I know, you just have to be it. brave and go snippety snip we always joke yeah. and say that you need three pieces of everything so that you can keep one, you can cut one for one side and then cut one for the other side. So you always need three, one to keep and two to cut. But I will um, definitely use this rest of uh, this leftover of the paper in my further project. So I will not throw it away. Oh, no, I have a pile of um scraps that I use for both sides of things um, so on the back of this page is the gorgeous rust um, yes that is such a good idea um, to have this 3d paint in white it would make amazing snow you're quite right yes exactly um, but I guess moss is green so it's called moss effect or musk effect yes musk I can effect. show you yeah this is mask 3d effect um which i think is is moss um so but you could always paint over it in white you know because the white allegro will cover the green no problem or you can even use i mean we could really get creative now we could use the moss effect underneath then you could paint over it with the snow paste and then you could add glitter for extra glam <laughs> Yes, there are so many possibilities. So just let your imagination flow and you will achieve a very, very in individual and unique uh, effect. Now I'm going to uh, work with the door of Sleeping Beauty. I'm going to uh, just uh, cover it really quick with Allegros, with Terra and Verde Prato. These two shades. Ah, oh, yes. So I need my palette again. So this project uh, takes a little bit of time. It's not like in yesterday's marathon. Yesterday was an easygoing project, but this one needs time. That's but fine, we've got time. But it's so wonderful, so I just couldn't hide it from you guys. I just wanted to share it. Okay, so Cindy is telling me that while she loves this mask, it's been discontinued. Okay, so that means in Stamperia it has been discontinued. So quickly, while you can, go and check your shops. Oh, yeah. Um, and see if they still have stock. Because once the stock in the shops is gone, it means that the shops cannot replace it. Um, so thanks for that heads up, Cindy. I haven't um, looked for it recently, so um, I didn't realize it has... It is off the website on Stamperia's side. Um, yes, I had the same situation with Pasta Neva. I'm uh, desperately looking for it, but I can't find it anywhere. 
<laughs> where I could order it, like um, with, with the store who is close, to, which is close to us. Oh yes, it's um, that's the thing. As you know, Stamperia only has so much space in the warehouse. They can only keep certain things for so long before they yeah. bring out something new. So, um, Sky Blue Hippie saying, "I really like your concept, Yuli. A garden on the airship. No, it's oh, a meeting of two worlds." <laughs> So Thank Lady Vagabond so on her airship and um, Sleeping Beauty in her garden, and then they're going to meet exactly. through the portal. Yes, so this is kind of secret garden with the secret door in it. And the girls are meeting there very... Um, uh, they're hiding from the world. So I Love Mixed Media is asking, how do you find out what's going to be discontinued? You don't. Um, I'm going to mute you while you heat gun. Yes, thank you. Um, you don't know what's going to be discontinued till it's not on the website anymore, to be honest, um, because now gold and silver crackle is also gone. No, don't tell me that. I'm going to hoard mine. Um, oh, I need to go through Stamperia's website again and just check for my old favorites and see if they're still there. Um Yes, Crafty I am is saying it's a lovely concept. It is, it is, it is. Um, <laughs> and I think you are back. Let's give you your voice back. I love mixed media says, Julie, I love your paint palette. <laughs> oh, yes, it's a messy palette, I would say. <laughs> okay. I use so like a, a normal uh, card stock that I don't use anymore and I recycle it. Kind You've of. built up layers and layers and layers. That thing yes. looks like it weighs it's a ton of paint. Already. It's like stone. <laughs> okay, and Cindy says she only finds out when she goes to restock and then she's disappointed as well. Yes, it is. It's a genuine thing, that disappointment when you go looking for something and it's like, oh, not there. Yeah, this is disappointing um, sometimes, yeah. So now we're going to glue down the Lady V part finally so i will take this um, uh, um this piece of textile that i have prepared with uh, aqua color before this is bronze for those who just came after so i will rip with my fingers very randomly and glue these two wonderful pieces on it and i will take the chipboard um like carton I take one from the pizza box. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Recycle, recycle, and recycle. So I we have the recycle, recycle, yeah. Um, is it a texture paste? No, it's not. It's it's like a very thick paint. Um, that when you apply it and you heat gun it, it puffs up. So it's it's not really a texture paste per se. Texture paste is more dense. I know, Blanche, it's sad when Stamperia discontinues things, but then otherwise there would be no space for new things. It's a catch-22. And thank, um, is this, Elika is saying, love your work. Thanks for sharing. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, this I also so call it puffy paint. Yes, yeah, so I am... Um building up the composition right now so now you can see it better i think so i love to play with the layers and therefore i will use my um cardboard to build up those steps to make layers like here i have two pieces of the cardstock and i will glue down uh, uh, that's good. The decoration just on it. give it support underneath do you have a youtube channel yudi Yes, I have one, but to be honestly, I have not enough time to record some videos. So, but you can join me also as Julia Art. You will you will find me everywhere at Julia Art on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, and also I have on Facebook my own group where I share my workshops. So this is uh, also to be found in my on my Facebook. But also you can uh, write me anytime, guys, and I will help you and support you anytime. Thank you so much for this. 
Okay, so I have got Yuli Art. Um, trying to see if this is you, decoupage jewelry box. Yeah, no, that's good to me, I think. Yeah, no, that's dainty gifts. Here's Yuli Art. Okay. Um, okay, I found you, I think. There yes, is also that... a pink uh, circle on my uh, avatar. Yes, it says Yuli Art. I found you, so I'm going to put your YouTube Thank you guys. on here. Um, so most that's... of my project you will find on Instagram and on Facebook because there I'm more active than on YouTube, I must say. But I will try to uh, find time to make it also on YouTube as well. <laughs> it is filming videos, editing them is my all time worst. Um, exactly, yeah. So you will find a post from Yuli nearly every day on Instagram. So the best place to follow her for inspiration is on Instagram. Um, so definitely go to Instagram to look for. Um, yes, on Instagram, I'm really up to date. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, and your Facebook group. What is your Facebook group called? Workshops by Yuli Art. Okay. You can find it on Facebook uh, in my groups. Maybe it goes quicker. So, and meanwhile, I will go down the doors, the portal doors. So okay, I found it. Um, I found your group. I'm going to post your group here as well. There we go. Thank you guys so much. And don't hesitate to contact me anywhere you like. So I'm always uh, so happy to receive your mails and um, comments. However, just feel free to contact me and we can have a fun conversation. Okay, Jean, I've just put the Facebook up. Um, so I'll put the Facebook group up. Um, and somebody is asking okay mm -hmm. now this is so helen is asking which shop is the best to buy from well helen it depends on where you live um obviously the closest shop to you will have the cheapest post um and the fastest post so it depends on where in the world you live um that yeah. is like how long is a piece of string i can't answer that <laughs> <laughs> So, and meanwhile, I have finished our portal doors. So you can see we have in the background the door. Oh, that's so cute. And on the top, the Lady V. So I fix it also with the cardboard here. So uh, now you can see it here. Clear. Here I have the cardboard. So we have kind of um, three-dimensional effect as well. And now we have actually almost finished everything i will still put the sleeping beauties decoration it goes now quick because we don't need to color anything now only glue down aha uh -huh. okay uh port elizabeth so port elizabeth is south africa so can you contact um shamila and she will be able to tell you who she supplies because i know shamila um hendrix who is on my design team um she is the importer for stamperia in South Africa, and she will be able to tell you who she supplies oh, uh, wow. if she can't supply it. Because I know that she does ship, um, but I don't know if she has an online shop. Um, so Cindy is crafting and watching today. So we're keeping Cindy company oh, at her craft desk. That's nice. I love to do it too. So when I watch the lives from other artists, I also do craft at the same time. And it's like being in a crafty group, you know. <laughs> so Sky Blue Hippie is asking, where is Port Elizabeth, Helen? Well, Port Elizabeth is in South Africa. Um, it is, um, a, I used to live in Cape Town, which is the southernmost tip sort of, of Africa. And um, give or take a few kilometers to the Agalas Point. Um, and Port Elizabeth is approximately a 10 hour drive from Cape Town to Port Elizabeth. It is in the Eastern Cape, so it's on the Eastern side of African coast. Um, I think we are 
nominating for the whole month. That's what I heard when I asked Giovanni during my live on um, yesterday morning. Um, yes, I heard the same. And Valeria is saying, Cindy, that's great. Enjoy your crafty time. And Danka is saying, I'm crafting too. It relaxes her. Um, oh, yeah. And Jean, Jean is watching and taking notes. So much info and oh, fab ideas. This is nice. Well, this is what I also like about the lives that we can learn from each other and get inspired. Absolutely. I just love your concept of the two worlds meeting. I just think oh, it's so thank brilliant. You. <laughs> well, I actually, it was, um, this vision was born because I really sometimes want to escape from this planet at all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's to discover new worlds, new uh, people, human being, or however you call them, or even uh, you thought or whatever. And... <laughs> And this was the idea, actually. And I decided, why not? And also, we had our first live today with you, Belinda. So thank yes. you for inviting so me. Much fun. Yeah. So uh, I decided just to do no. something crazy. So here we are. OK, so Cindy is reminding us that, yes, also during these um, lives on the marathon equals one euro till the end of the month. So. On oh, all lives, wow. one like equals one euro, and that money is going towards um, a children's charity. Um, so don't forget to like because that um, that does mean that Stamperia will donate on your behalf. Oh, and Melanie, welcome. Her first time watching. Amazing. Oh, welcome. Art. From that's Pretoria. Awesome. So that's also South Africa. That is way up north nowhere near the coast um so welcome melanie so nice to find you here so i would say our composition is done the final part that we need to do is to um, make more contrast on the edges of our composition right it's got and so much dimension it looks gorgeous Thank you. So I will just go closer. Well, I'll try because this project is quite huge. So here we have the Sleeping Beauty part with the hidden garden store. And here we have the very steampunky and very cool and sexy Lady V. <laughs> so I like her. Her attitude here is just straight on point. So Belinda, well done. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm thinking I will probably use um, for the edges, uh, this terra color. I think it will match. Uh, I think I did it also in the preview one. Yes, I will take this one, the terra acrylic paint. My messy palette as help. <laughs> I'm aware. Clear received a temporary Facebook Facebook emoji block last night for you. <laughs> so many <laughs> <of this yesterday>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I need a sponge. Well, and I love mixed media. Denise says it's so pretty and clever idea. Thank you for the inspiration. Oh, thank you so much. And Sky Blue says gorgeous two sides of the world. Yes, this is like how we are now. So we yes. have the whole world, a uh, uh, whole whole world around us. Isn't it gorgeous? I love that. Absolutely. This is what I love about Stamperia. We are all connected. Yes, everybody thinks you're quite a genius. When you showed me the sample um, when you prepared for today, I was like, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And for me, it's a huge joy when I can uh, get people inspired because this is actually, for me, the best comment I can ever receive when people feel inspired. Absolutely. Yes. So... Wow, I like it very much. So now we have prepared, I uh, know, here the, the uh, part here. Yes. So this is how it looks like now. Yes. And I also go through the mask here. I can see where you've caught it on the top there. It looks really, it yes. gives it another dimension. Exactly. And I think I will put it here also because i like this effect very much put it more on here oh yes so it's really fluent in this way 
Here's another oh. idea. It um my de, my de, my my del art. I could be pronouncing that wrong. Says oh, the two yeah. ladies could represent the two parts of our personality. Yes. yes. There's that's, always that. That's a good idea. Yes. Very <laughs> nice. I think every lady or every woman has a very princess-like side, but also one very tough lady, sexy lady inside. Yeah, the soft side and then the, the spunky side. Exactly. So, and the very last uh, point is I will dry it really quick and then I want to set some highlights with the golden wax. So ah. if you like, you can mute me for a while and then I will be back again. Okie dokie. Thank you. Mute my... Yes, Facebook loves to block people from doing things. If you post too much, if you comment too much, they have automated bots that will come along and just put you in what I call Facebook jail. <laughs> so, um, yes, and then you have to wait for your time to be up. It's normally for 24 hours or something, and then you get um, – you get your emojis back. Um, and Mari Fenter from South Africa is saying, beautiful, Yuli, thanks for the inspiration. Um, have a grateful weekend, all good vibes. Um, so, um, yes, you've had it with the comments. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> On the very last uh step we need to do but you can leave it completely out but i cannot go without the wax face i love it and in this case we're going to underline our mask even more oh and you use a glove that's quite clever yes otherwise yeah. you end up with gold yeah. fingers <laughs> so they are messy as you can see and i will just gently go through it i don't want to pop it up too much just very um gently here and a bit there and for me it's actually enough but it all depends on you guys if you want to have it more glamorous just put more but i think it's okay for now and we are done we have everything in one place here wow that you know so that done. took you less than an hour oh yeah one hour yes very good. Because, of <laughs> because course, for the first few, you know, we don't start bang at um, three o'clock. So, um, wow, that was good going. So let us escape from this world to another. Let your imagination flow, girls and boys. Yes, James Bond gold finger. So if you like, I can turn my camera just to see the people. Okay, let me just put myself. Let me. Thank you. Um, Exit solo, give myself solo layout so you can change the camera. Thanks. And everybody is saying thank you. They love it. Thanks for sharing it. Um, and Fab Peace, Yuli, Claire says that canvas looks gorgeous. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear, you've missed it because you made some cake. <laughs> Don't worry. You can go back and watch it anytime. It will be here. Um, and I will come over for the cake because I love cakes. And Cindy's sending you lots of hearts. And oh, Nicoletta Nicole you. says, it's beautiful, Yuli. Thank you so much. Thank you. Craft Your Home says, have a great day and weekend, you all. You'll notice my mother hasn't been in today's live, and that's because she is watching Grand Prix um, <laughs> Thank behind you. me. Important. But she will re watch it. And Lisa wants to make it. I'm going to give you back the screen. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Here I am again with this one. Oh, the oh. door. <laughs> so you, you better not take it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me take uh, an exchange just for a second. Sorry. Actually, it but never happened, but I think the mold wasn't uh, dry enough. So this is why it falls just. But you know, we can. I can do it after on. So you would just. I could pretend with the door. Solo layout. There we go. Pretend it's the first one. There we go. <laughs> so I will pretend that the door is in place. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I will leave the door now. Ah, it's, it's picking again. So this is our wonderful story. And as I told you, just let your imagination flow. 
combine uh, different uh, collections because they oh, were I know. My mom together. has been in. Ah, oh, she's <laughs> multitasking there behind me. <laughs> So I love to uh, discover and I love to create something new. So also you guys, if you feel inspired today and you want to create a huge masterpiece, also share it with Sampuria, share it with us, take us Absolutely. everywhere that we can see it because we are here to inspire you. And we are so glad to receive your projects as well on Stampers Worldwide, of course, or even yes. just take us everywhere so we can see it and put you alive. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you so much. Thanks for your thank amazing you guys. and your inspiration today. Thank um, you. And thank you so much. Everybody's saying thank you. The collections look so similar mm -hmm. when they side by side. Um, we both have beautiful backdrops. Yes, I've done all my samples yes. of my molds. And Julie's got all her gorgeous projects behind her. <laughs> um, have a great weekend, everybody. And yes. Sky Blue's saying thank you. Everybody's saying thank you. It's been an amazing afternoon together. I really thank enjoyed you, hosting. So um, we're going to say goodbye. And Have we'll a nice weekend, guys. See you. Bye.